And how can you make potassium from this ash? Well, as a cunning reaction, we take our potassium carbonate and add it to some calcium hydroxide. These are all in solutions. So I've got some solutions here. So we've got our potassium carbonate. So that goes in here. This is from our pot ash. And I've got a solution here of the calcium hydroxide. Remember, that's what we made from the uh, stone, heating up the calcium carbonate and driving out the carbon dioxide. We've got calcium oxide, then add water to it. We end up with calcium hydroxide. Well, here's a solution of that. And the clever thing is, when you mix these two things together, okay, you get a milky colour here. The white colour that you see here is calcium carbonate. It reforms. So what happens? These things, and let me see if I can get this, swap round like that. Okay, and we end up with calcium carbonate. That's the white colour that you see. And in solution, we have potassium hydroxide. And this was called caustic potash. Okay? And it was this that was first used to isolate potassium metal. And this was done by, well, this is the reaction that we've just seen there, the calcium hydroxide reacting with the potassium carbonate to form calcium carbonate, that's the white colour, the insoluble chalk, and forming potassium hydroxide. But it was the potassium hydroxide that was first used by this chap, Humphrey Davy, in 1807, and he isolated potassium metal. He did this by melting the potassium hydroxide and passing an electric current through it, and this is his description of his production of potassium here. Okay. And it says in this, um, there is a body usually called potash, or the vegetable alkali, which may be procured thus. Uh, quick lime, which we've seen is the calcium hydroxide, is mixed with a solution of wood ash, just as we've been doing here, to liberate our potassium hydroxide, blah, blah, blah. He then passes, uh, passes an electric current through this. But of course, there was no electricity in 1807, so he had to use a very primitive apparatus called a voltaic pile. And this consists of a series of zinc and copper plates here, different metals stacked together, okay? and this generated enough electric current to enable him to separate his um, potassium hydroxide and liberate potassium metal. 